good morning, September 2nd, 2020. Coffee. My shirt says, life happens, coffee helps. I'm talking like this because I've got my granddaughter in the other room sleeping. She said she was going to get up early because next week she has to be to school by 730. And she wanted to practice, but guess who's still in bed? Ha <laughs> ha. And it's almost 8 o'clock. Yeah. But Tootsie is doing her damnedest to try to wake her up. So today, what I have in front of me is my crystal painting of the butterfly from Rachel Froud from Treasure Studios Art. And I'm trying to get a pen that's got some wax on it here. Jake, good morning. Stop that. You're not a cat. He licks himself like he's a daggum cat. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> uh, hey, Shh, stop it. No, he's saying good morning too. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, we, did, we talked about coffee already because I need plenty of it. I was up till 2 in the morning. Having been up the day before till four thirty, and no, I got it. No, I got up at four thirty in the morning. Didn't go to sleep till two in the morning. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is wrong with me. I'm gonna make a doctor's appointment today because, well, I know what's wrong with me. I'm not eating right. Anyway, that's a whole another discussion for another day. I'm gonna turn the light pad on because I need it. If you don't stop, Jake, knock it off. I can't figure out what the heck he's doing wrong. What am I doing wrong, Mom? <laughs> you're annoying me. That's what you're doing wrong. All right. I'm going to shut the camera. Because Malia is still sleeping. And I have a super funny story. Um, first, um, I know some of you have been trying to get a hold of me on, uh, Facebook Messenger. I just have to tell you that I have, I am still not feeling well. I've uh, been having some extreme nausea. I mean, it, <sighs> I'm 59 years old, guys. I'm not pregnant, but that's what it feels like in that morning sickness that you get when you're pregnant that's what it feels like oh it's disgusting but you're still hungry you want to eat as you can see i haven't yeah oh. so it's it's not like a covid symptom so i'm not really concerned about that stop it jake i'm gonna throw you out of here Oh my God, this is why I don't get a cat, because <laughs> I've got one, <laughs> and uh, sometimes I throw him in the shower with me. He's not too keen on that, but he, he, um, he'll let me do it. He'll stand there and he'll let me soap him up. Where was I? Oh. So if you were trying to get a hold of me yesterday, I do apologize because, um, and then, you know, I, I left work at two o'clock and again, cause nauseous <clears throat> and I came home and I wanted to lay down and I had like, well, I did lay down for like an hour and then when I woke up, I had five or six or eight messages from Malia, my granddaughter, that she wanted to come over, that mom and dad were going to uh, Derby, which is the town where I live. And, you know, who else lives in Derby? Can I come to your house? So I said, OK. My only reluctance being that, you know, I didn't feel good. She's like, oh, I can take care of you, Grandma. I tell you, in, in my really old, old age, that's who's going to take care of me. 
Yeah, she's going to be my little caretaker. Because my daughter, you know, my daughter's, a, my daughter's busy living her life. Bless her. Um, oh, so I wake up. I call her back, tell her she can come over. <clears throat> um, then I tried to, I just made like some chicken for dinner. And I was trying, literally when I took the chicken out of the oven, I had to run to the bathroom because I thought I was going to vomit. Um, that's how bad the nausea got. Um, and then as soon as I got away from the chicken, I was fine. But then I went back and cut the chicken up and ate it. <laughs> and it was a fight after that. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway. Jake. Would you stop, please? Oh, now, oh, he's on to the paws. <laughs> We've moved on. We went from the back paws to the front paws. <laughs> he's not done yet. <laughs> he's got to do a thorough cleaning, apparently. God, I hope you guys can't hear that. <laughs> because it's so gross. <laughs> Jake. Jake. Stop it. He keeps looking at me like, what am I doing? Mom, <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Stop doing that. Find something else to do. Chew on your sock. <laughs> he stole the sock out of my laundry yesterday in front of me, and then he went dashing off into another room like I was going to stop him. It was so funny. I don't even know whose sock it is. I've never seen it before. Maybe it's Malia's sock. Where did that go? So yesterday, <clears throat> Jennifer Roberts, DP Addiction Adventures, and myself, went. Uh, we did a pop-up live so that we could uh, do the giveaway uh, for our Halloween collab. Um, we had decided we would do an upfront giveaway uh, before the collab started so someone else could get the same painting that we're getting and get it pretty much around the same time that we do so we can all paint along together. And there's still time, you guys can still order that painting and uh, get it in time to paint along with us. It's available on Treasure Studios art website. But the winner was Susan Layden, and I'm so happy for her. So I gave all of her information to Treasure Studios art and her painting will go into production. Yay! Oh my God, stop it. I, <laughs> I'm so easily annoyed. <laughs> so we watched the funniest movie last night. Malia, it's called Knives Out. If you guys haven't watched that, oh my God, you gotta go watch it. It's hilarious. It has all these famous people in it, like, you know, Jamie Curtis and, um, oh my God, what's that guy's name? He used to do the Miami Vice show, many, Don Johnson, and yeah, all these people. Um, the girl that was in 13 Reasons Why, the one that killed herself, she was in it, um, and it, like as soon as it opened, I'm like, oh, that's the one that did it. Like it's a murder mystery. So Malia's looking at me because she's seen the movie before. <laughs> and then when the movie was over, she's like, how did you know? <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, it's the typical plots. <laughs> but it was a funny movie. Um, funny. Yeah, it was funny. I, th I would say it was funny. It, it held my interest. Let's, let's put it that way. Ah. So there are, um, oh, so I don't even know how we got on this subject. She and I were, she brought over, Malia brought over, 
her entire school wardrobe that she got last weekend because she wanted to show me. Like she had two book, two book bags when she came, you know, her new one with her stuff in it that she needs. And then her old one with all her new clothes in it. So, um, oh, she got the cutest little clothes. Oh my gosh. She, she's a really good shopper. She went to all these different places where you can get discount clothes like Plato's Closet. And, um, that's, I think a secondhand store, but anyway, she got some really nice stuff. So somehow we got on this, I don't I don't even know how we got on this subject of 69. Oh, oh, I know why. Because <laughs> I was telling her that I have 969 subscribers. And she's like, 69? And she starts laughing. I was like, do you know what that means? And she's like, yeah, do you know what that means? I'm like, yeah, but what does it mean to you? And she's like, well, yeah, what does it mean to you? <laughs> so we went on back and forth like this for a while. So she goes, I don't think you do know what that means, Grandma. You're too old. I'm like, I'm not too old. I've even done it. She's like, you've done it? <laughs> and so your face lit up. She's like, how? I'm like, are we really talking about the same thing here? So, and this goes on for like 10 minutes. After a while, I realized, yeah, we're not talking about the same thing. <laughs> so, finally, and she, and she says, well, Grandma, come on, what are you talking about? I'm like, it's, well, it's, you know, it's a sexual position. She's like, ah, oh, What? She had no idea. This she was not talking about. A, she was talking about some rapper named Sixty Nine, and I guess she thought I had done the rapper. <laughs> it's like I have never even heard of this guy. It was the funniest conversation. Oh my god! Just oh, talk about generation gap. That's why she thought I was too old, and I was. I am too old. I don't know who that is. Plus, I don't like rap. No. So, I gave out a lot of information yesterday um, as far as, you know, community events go. So, if you want to check that uh, out, you know, if you're, um, oh goodness, uh, yeah, if you want to check that out, um, if you're wondering, you know, if you maybe you missed it or maybe you didn't write something down, um, I mean, the long and short of it is Drills and Chills is underway. Um, and there's two other Halloween collabs that have not started yet. Mine and J-Rob's and Billy and Lizzie's World of Gems. Uh, both are sliding the diamond. Uh, yeah, both of those Halloween collabs, uh, I don't believe, have started yet. And they're both... Um, mine and J. Rob's is a paint along. Um, we'd love for you to join us. Um, most, you know, I'd love for you guys to get the TSA Halloween painting, but if you don't, just get a Halloween painting and paint along with us. It doesn't really matter, but it is a beautiful image. It's called <clears throat> Working for Halloween. Um, it's available for sixty. dollars 450 I think and if you use the coupon code Rebecca 15 you'll get 15% off and you can get it for $55 and it's 60 by 55 I think anyway that's my that's my sales pitch for the morning <laughs> oh my god okay so let's talk about tonight's lives I'm gonna be live for Craft With Me Wednesday on uh, at 6 o'clock Central. And we're going to be working on a new diorama. 
That's super cute. The diamond, the 3D diamond diorama. You know, I did the one with the two unicorns. Well, tonight I'm going to do a different one. Uh, start a different one. And uh, then after that is the Crafty Heifer at 7 Central. And at 8 Central is Sherry Diamond Art Addiction. Um, who takes us into her world of resin. It is kind of cool to watch. Yeah, it really is. I like when she takes the stuff out of the mold and you're like, ooh, ah, that's pretty cool. So uh, sh I'm sure she'll be diamond painting as well. Um, and I might even make an appearance on her show tonight. Um, I'm going to teach her how to use StreamYard today, and maybe I'll pop in to her show tonight. Um, we'll see how I feel, <laughs> because, guys, uh, I've got to get to the doctor. Here's my concern, is that my, that maybe I've crossed over to diabetes. That's my fear. Um, you know, maybe I've just pushed the envelope farther than I should have. Because I've been pre-diabetic for many years. Anyway, that's it's just my thought. That's just my fear. And one of the reasons I haven't made a doctor's appointment. When I was in the, went in for my knee surgery, they were very concerned about my blood sugar. Apparently it was in the 400 range, which is not good. So, but I wasn't. At that time, I was too concerned about my knee to worry about <laughs> blood sugar. Anyway, and I love sweets. Oh my God, I could, I just don't know how I could live without them. I could, I've done it in the past, but I always, it, I always take them back. It's a horrible addiction. It's like drugs. <clears throat> you can go cold turkey, but then you crave it. You want it back. I don't know. And then I forgot. After Diamond Art Addiction is Tia's Crazy Craft Addiction. She's on at 10 Central. And she is always a good time. She always has a very funny story to tell which I really enjoy. And she will um, basically just, you know, we all like to follow the chat, you know, but she'll kind of ignore the chat to get through her story, which I love that about her. And then she'll go back to the chat, which is, is really cool. But I don't, I don't know that her stories would be as funny if she broke it up with, you know, reading chat. I don't know. I don't know, but it's just a it's just a fun little show. So this day in history was an interesting one. Um, in let me find the year, nineteen forty five, Japan surrendered in World War Two, and I think Malia has made it up. She's up. Good morning. Did I wake you up? You don't have to wake up at eight now, remember? Oh, you woke up at eight. I thought it was going to be seven. Good morning. No, not today. Oh, oh, I'm doing my show. Okay, I'll be done in a little while. Okay. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> She's awake. She's awake. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so Japan su surrendered, ending World War II. And here's the part that I didn't understand. Like, and one of the reasons they surrendered was because uh, the United States dropped 
two atomic bombs on their country. Like we were wiping out their country. They had no choice but to surrender. But what I couldn't figure out was why were they fighting? Like what was this, so, you know, was, <laughs> this is what I don't understand about wars. What are you fighting over? Like, like what did that resolve? Does that make sense? Like I'm reading this article and it's talking about who did what to whom. Um, you know, we bombed that, you know, they bombed Pearl Harbor. We, you know, bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki and, but why, why were we, what were we fighting over? Diamond paintings, maybe? I don't, you know, I don't know. Well, diamond paintings is China, but, um, yeah, I, I don't get it. Don't get it. I think war is a man's thing. I don't know. Sorry, Billy. Sorry, Di you know. Brian, but, you know, why are we fighting? Like, women could solve it over a cup of coffee. Honest to God, we could. Like, just have, let's just have coffee. We'll resolve this issue. Nobody has to die. Ugh, I don't get it. Uh, so, <laughs> anyway, that's what happened this day in history. But, there, there, but there's more. <laughs> Which reminds me, Big Brother comes on tonight. Oh, Diana Nyad makes her swim from Cuba to Florida. She swam from Cuba to Key West, and she had tried it many, many times. Um, in, you know, the open ocean, and I actually saw her. Um, she does a lot of public speaking, and I went to a seminar where she um, was the keynote speaker. and so interesting oh my god super super interesting life she's had but she attempted that swim when she was younger and then when she finally did it she was 64 years old how incredible is that but several of her attempts were thwarted by you know jellyfish and oh it's just i don't know how she did it um, well, she didn't many times, but she finally did su succeed, um, you know, shark infested waters and, oh, incredible. Like that's, you know, I'm a swimmer, but yeah, no, I don't want to swim the open ocean and mm, no, 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 no. And then on an even lighter side in 1969, the first ATM appeared, and our lives have never been the same. <laughs> yes, we now have ATMs everywhere. I don't know if, see, I don't use ATM as much as I used to because there's charges for it now. Everybody, a lot of them are privately owned now, and there's, you, you, they charge you a fee to use it. So I prefer, you know, if I really need cash, I'll just go buy something at the grocery store and get cash back. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really use the ATM. I couldn't even tell you where there's one at. I mean, for years and years and years, yeah, we, we relied pretty heavily on ATMs, but I think we're kind of getting away from it. Nobody carries cash anymore anyway. But there are a lot of other things you can do at the ATM, a lot of other banking functions um, other than just get money. So I guess there are people that use it quite a bit. But, you know, it, it really took the place of bank tellers. You know, nobody had to go inside of a bank anymore, which is kind of cool. So, and then today is National VJ Day. And... <clears throat> I had to look at that twice. VJ, what the heck does that mean? And, of course, that means victory over Japan. So that goes back to what we were talking about before. Um, Japan surrendered and ended the World War II. So that's what National VJ Day means. But it's also National Blueberry Popsicle Day. So supposedly this guy was mixing, this child, 11-year-old child, was 
playing around with a drink mix and some water and whatever out, out, out on his porch and um, goes in the house, leaves it out there and then overnight it freezes and the next morning he's got this delicious concoction and um, when, at, when he gets older he decides to sell this concoction and he named it um, after himself and then eventually it, uh, it became the popsicle so he basically invented the popsicle by accident <laughs> And how can you celebrate Blueberry Popsicle Day? You can make some blueberry popsicles and take them to work for everybody. I don't think I've ever had a blueberry popsicle. Very strange. This painting is so pretty. It really, really is. It's, um, it's the largest crystal one I did. This is my second full crystal. The other one I did was the Rainy Day Diamonds crystal with um, from Blushing Blackbird on Etsy. I did the rose, uh, the rose in a crystal bowl, which is hanging up at my job and it's gorgeous. So, oh, before I forget, I don't want to close the show until I forget. say happy birthday to Janice Tucci um, happy birthday girl we love you have a good one so what else what else um, oh I had sent her a uh, gif on uh, messenger so she's just saying thank you Oh my God, last night, I told you that, I was trying to go to sleep. I was up till two in the morning, trying to go to sleep. And you know how you, you're you in these groups on Facebook or Instagram? So I'm in this Instagram group and the notifications were binging and binging and binging and binging. I'm like, oh my God. And nothing like super important, just chatter. Um... So finally, I thought, and I kept thinking, I've got to turn that off. i got to turn that off. Finally, I, I kept thinking, no, it'll stop. It'll stop. They know how late it is. It's going to stop. It just kept going. So I finally got up, put my glasses on, and figured out how to silence the notifications on Instagram. You can pause them for periods of time. So I paused them for eight hours, and then I was able to go to sleep. Yay! I... So I learned something new last night. And I'm probably going to do that every night because, holy cow, that was annoying. First I thought, well, it's just the iPad. So I take the iPad out of my room, put it in the craft room, and it keeps going and, and it, over my phone. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah. So, wow. I'm like, guys, and they were just like, it wasn't, it was just like a silly conversation. It, you know, I, re I read through some of it when I got up to pause it to see if, you know, is there something going on? Do I need to know something? No, no, it was just idle chatter, I guess, from people that couldn't sleep. <laughs> like me. Oh, Malia's making breakfast. She's very, very self-sufficient. So she's going to school next week, part-time, only on Tuesdays and Fridays. Then the other half of the school goes to school on Mondays and Thursdays, and nobody goes to school on Wednesdays. Strange. I wish I had that kind of, I want that work schedule, you know? I just want to go to school or work on Tuesdays and Fridays. Yeah. No, I don't want to go on Friday. Uh... <laughs> I like my Fridays. <laughs> Fridays is like the day I work there where you like want to get out early and go do stuff. So no, I don't. I don't want to work on a Friday. Anyway, that's their school schedule with this COVID. I don't. I hope it helps. I really do. I hope nobody gets it. So, 
I don't have a whole lot more today, guys. I'm going to finish my cup of coffee. Um, it's 8 o'clock. I doubt that the doctor's office is open yet. But as soon as the doctor's office opens, I'm going to see if I can get in there. So, you guys have a great Wednesday. And I uh, hope to see you in one of the lives tonight. Say hi to me. And be kind to one another, guys.